And I thought, wow, you know, to create something that gets out of control, I wonder if God feels that way. Hi there, it's Owen hey. from eTalk CTP in Toronto. Robert, I can't, I don't know if you can tell by my shirt, but I'm extremely excited to be chatting with you today. First, I want to ask you, what's it like to return to this franchise that has such a strong legacy still 20, over 20 years later? It's awesome. I mean, it's so many parents I know were kids when this came out and now they have kids of their own. So I thought it would be a real legacy family moment for them to watch with their kids together and show, hey, it's the kind of movie I grew up with, you know? So it's like, let's make it robust. Let's make it full of effects. Let's make it timely. Let's, um, I brought my kids along to really be co-contributors now because they're the age I was when I made Mariachi and Desperado. So they're just, you know, really sharp and said, they said, we gotta have a safe house. We got to have the how to be a spy book and we got to have a video game element because it's more believable now than ever that kids are more tech savvy than their yeah. parents. So you could actually believe them, you know, pulling all this off. So we had a, a blast. My kids had actually invented that game high score on their own. They were creating it as an independent game and we ended up putting it in the movie. So it was really wish fulfillment on so many levels to make this movie for families today. But it always starts with the family. It starts with that's the most relatable thing. The family has to feel real because in all these movies, the family gets transformed by the mission they're on. By the end of the mission that they work on together, they come out the other side a stronger family and with cooler gadgets. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, on that note, I want to ask, I, I have it in front of me. Forgive me if I've missed something. Produced and co-written by your son, uh, co-composed by your son, game design by your family members. Uh, I think your daughter has a song and film. What was it like bringing them all in to this project and working with them all at this family affair. Well, they, they've worked on all those movies since they could crawl. I mean, they were always in those movies. Like Racer came up with Sharkboy and Lava Girl when he was seven. So he's been writing with me a long time. This is the first time he gets an official writing credit. But um, it's been having them be the age they are now when I was making my first films, it's like taking a time machine. Their energy and their ideas, I always had these crazy ideas on where filmmaking was going next. Now they're doing that with me. So it really uh, makes it a family affair, which is essential to the project because of the type of project it is. So it's just the best because the, the more time we spend at work, it's family time <laughs> actually too. So it's like the best, you're checking all the boxes. I mean, this is the best movies to make because you can just dream about it and laugh about it, write it down and we make a joke. It's like, well, we got to put that in the movie. So it, it makes family time essential to, to our work and vice versa. Yeah, that's amazing. I want to loop back quickly to the legacy of Spy Kids. There are some extremely iconic moments that have stood the test of time and constantly resurfaced every few years. And I want to ask you about them and let it get, get, get the thoughts or stories behind them. Firstly, sure. the Steve Buscemi quote from Spy Kids 2, do you think God stays in heaven because he too lives in fear of what he's created? People are constantly shocked this profound statement is from a children's film where did that line come from well the line is just it's what happens when you create you know when you draw you know, i used to love i used to love being just a cartoonist because you draw on a piece of blank paper and something that wasn't there 10 minutes ago was now there just manifesting and when i was getting into the character of that guy i thought he's on his island making these little creatures and they just got out of control so he's got to hide from them and i thought Wow, you know, to create something that gets out of control, I wonder if God feels that way. He must feel out. He must, that means that's why everything's so screwed up. He was like this guy, you know, when you get into the creator mentality, you get closer to what a creator thinks like and how a creator's thing could go amok. So I gave that line to Steve Buscemi. He delivered it so great. I said, I want you to come all the way up to the camera. This is an important line because I really believe this because I just, I, I create all day. And so I get to see what it's like to be a creator. And a lot of times it comes out a lot different than what you intended, sometimes for the good and then sometimes not for good. Yeah. Uh, so that's where that came from. It was just from me in the role of that creator, getting a sense of nothing is going according to plan. <laughs> and maybe that's why they say we're building his likeness. So I, I, maybe, maybe that's what went wrong. They didn't intend for it to be like this at all. <laughs> so I thought, let's put that in a movie because I think that'd be fun. And, and Steve just did such a fantastic job. <laughs> well, Robert, I unfortunately have to wrap. But before I do, I have to tell you, it truly is an honor speaking to you today. I grew up as a kid during Spy Kids. The Spy Kids special features on the DVD are why I love 
film and filmmaking straight up 100%. So the child inside of me is crying right now that we're chatting. I'm composing myself. Um, but it was so amazing to talk to you. Thanks so much. Yeah, I appreciate that because I made those, I make those myself, you know, those five, 10 minute film schools. And I made them hopefully and the kids would watch them and be inspired to go make their own thing. So that you sat and watched it. I didn't, I didn't know if they would know how to access and find it. Let's see it extra. I hope they did. The fact that you did, it means a lot to me. I really eight years it. old, burned the DVD out a hundred percent. That's so cool. Thanks so much. Appreciate Thank it. you so much for talking. Uh, congrats on the film. Excited for everyone to see it. Like the video? Then hit the button, or better yet, drop us a comment. Then check out our latest videos here. And don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button here for more celebrity interviews and entertainment news.